Guys, this is literally like Christmas. Body. I'm so excited for this video. If you're new here, please drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We have more home gym content coming very, very soon. So we finally have moved into the new house. And the first thing I did was set up the garage. As you can see, we do have the floors down. I'm not gonna talk a lot about that. If you're interested, you can search Brandon Campbell on YouTube, Brandon Campbell floors, and that will walk you through exactly what I did for the most part. Now, I have been stockpiling gym equipment for the last three months. We knew we were moving in, we were building a house, and I knew how hard it was to get gym equipment. And it's possible to do in 2020, it just takes a lot of patience and you're gonna pay more for it for a variety of reasons. One, you're not gonna get any type of discount or sales and also you're gonna have to piece these parts together and not be able to bundle it all and pay shipping once. So I paid shipping individually on almost all of this. And I might get into a little bit about why I bought what I bought, but in today's video, I really just wanna unbox everything. One, so we can see how it looks shipped. We all know that gym equipment being shipped can be hit or miss, so it might be damaged. Kind of scared actually, so that'll be interesting. Also, just give you my first impressions. So I ordered from Rogue Fitness and Rep Fitness um, based off of one preference and two availability. So we're just gonna kind of get straight into it. If you wanna come in here, first thing I wanna do is kind of give you a look around of what we did get. So we have one, uh, what is this? This is a dumbbell rack. I actually got two of those. One is here and one is over there. We have, and this is from Rep Fitness. We have the plates which I got from Rogue. Uh, dumbbells are going to be from Rep, so all of these dumbbells over here. The barbell from Rogue Fitness, and then we come in this part of the garage, we've got a beautiful puppy dog, came from the, um, the puppy mom, and then we've got all of these boxes right here. These Rogue boxes are the rack, the RN6. I think it's going to be a beast. That's going to be the only thing that I do not set or do not unbox because, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, um, but all of this is Rogue and then the rep, this uh, adjustable bench, and we also have one more dumbbell rack, as I told you guys. So enough talking, let's get unboxing. All right, so first thing that we're gonna be unboxing are these Rogue 45 pound shooter plates. So the reason I wanted to get these, again, goes back to my buddy Brandon Campbell. I really need to stop watching his videos. He has these plates and I absolutely love the way that they look. So let's see how they came. All right, let's see. A little bit of damage on the sides. Nothing too bad though. Uh, you can see some paint chip right there. If we wanna, I think that might, yeah, just a little bit of chip. And again, they're not offering um, certain certain methods of shipment right now because of the whole pandemic. So you kind of got to get whatever you can at this point. I mean, overall, these things are beautiful. I ended up buying six of them. I, I almost bought eight, but to be honest, if I did buy eight, it would have just been for looks because I'm not that strong. So given the circumstances, six, even then, there's not really too many exercises. I can do a 315. So let's get all of these open real quick and we'll see, make sure that none of them were damaged. All right, so overall, not too much damage, which I'm super excited about. I think the worst one is right here. I don't know if you guys can really see, there's a bit of a chip there as well as there, but I mean, these are weight plates for me. These are not supposed to be in like a museum. I know some people online have gotten really upset about the condition, but I don't think it's an overly big issue. I love the way that these look and it just makes it super convenient to be able to grab them like that. So they do have some functionality, but most of all, I just think they look cool. What I love about Rogue is that you know what you're gonna get. You're gonna pay a lot of money, but you're gonna get some high quality equipment. There's no doubt about that. So I did get the 45 five pound plates. I ordered the 25s, they're not in yet. Fives are still back ordered. And then I got 
four 10 pound plates because it's just gonna be me training in this garage. And every now and again, cameraman will be training as well. But she only lifts 45 pound plates. 10s are too small for her. So let's check these out. This is literally like Christmas. I mean, imagine waiting months and months and months and the, the hardship of actually ordering this stuff. It is so stressful. I sit there and, and refresh my internet browser. Cameraman can testify. It was just a, an interesting experience. But look at these bad boys right here. These things are sexy. Wow. Again, you're definitely overpaying when you buy Rogue. I mean, these 10 pound sets cost like what, 50 bucks? So you're paying you know, over $2 a pound, which is quite crazy. But the, I love the way that they look. All right, so we have the four 10 pound weights looking awesome. I'm excited for the 25s to come in. Those should be in later this week. I'm gonna have to pick up some fives and two and a halfs eventually. So these are the Rogue Six Shooter Plates. If you guys wanna check out their website, I'm sure they're out of stock, but hopefully times will get normal uh, eventually, you know. So I'm gonna move on to the Rep Fitness Dumbbell Rack. So if you guys have been following me for a while, I had a home gym at my first house that I owned. And it was, it was pretty nice. I actually had two home gyms, one in the garage, one in the basement, because it got very cold in Ohio. And it was all Rogue. I've never bought anything but Rogue. Being in Ohio, you just tend to buy Rogue because it's your hometown. And also, you don't have to pay for shipping. You can just go pick it up. I only lived about an hour away. But when I learned about Rep Fitness, I was pretty intrigued. The big difference here is Rep Fitness is going to be manu er, getting imported from China where Rogue is being manufactured in the United States. So if that's really important to you, then stick with Rogue. But I really think that Rep makes some high quality stuff for a much better price point. So this thing looks to be pretty beastly. And thankfully, they packaged it up nicely. I was worried about that. I didn't want to get a bunch of equipment that was all torn up and, and battered. I've heard some horror stories about Titan Fitness, which I really had no interest in ordering anything from them. All right, so it really looks to be some high quality steel. I'm seeing no physical damage, which I'm very relieved about. Like I said, this stuff has been sitting for months. So if it was damaged, I don't even know that I could get a refund at this point, but very nice job to rep fitness. So my first impression is a very good one. So I'm gonna get the rest of this dumbbell rack. We might even assemble it a little bit later tonight because as you'll see, we've got quite a few dumbbells over here. All right, so fresh out the box, rep fitness made a very good impression on me. Everything looks really nice. I love the laser cutout of their logo there. Everything looks fine, no damage. I mean, given that there's no missing parts, hopefully. One dumbbell rack is right there, and then the other one is right there for all of these dumbbells over here. So the thought process is I'm gonna have two dumbbell racks along this wall, a mirror right there. Ideally, what I would've done, ordered five through 100s. I've not seen one of those sets pop up in a long time, regardless of what vendor you're trying to buy from. But Rev did have an option where you could buy the five through 75. So that is what I did, but I felt like it was kind of overkill, one from a space as well as a cost perspective. When you get up to the higher weights, I don't really feel the need to have 80s and 85s for the space as well as because you have to pay a lot of money for it. So what I did, I bought the fives through 75s. I figured five, 10, 15, 20, 25, those five pound jumps make sense. But once I got up to the 50s, I started selling them off. So at this point, I only have the 65s left in terms of five pound increments, which I'm trying to sell at this very moment. If you guys are watching this, they probably are sold by now, but if you wanna send me a DM on Instagram, I'll be sure to get back with you. So I have seen some of these dumbbells and I have to say, I think that they're pretty great quality for the price point. The whole set was only 1600 bucks. Compare that to like a urethane uh, set, you're gonna be paying at least double that. You can see, They've got a nice neural on there. I have heard some people talking about these will tend to give you a greenish tint. But for me, I mean, it's gonna be more about functionality when it comes to dumbbells. I like them to say black, but I feel like if I have two dumbbell racks, I will have enough space to fit everything I want. It's kind of yet to be seen. I still need to buy 80s, 90s, and 100s that I haven't been able to pick up yet, but I figured this would at least get me started. I mean, 
mean, overall, I think these are great value uh, for the money. When you buy dumbbells, regardless if you buy them from Rep, Rogue, or wherever, they're almost all the same, just with a different logo on there. So no sense in paying any more. The only big issue I saw was with one of these 50s. Looks like we got some black mark against that. And actually, that's just can be peeled off, so no problem there whatsoever. This should get me started considering I've been out of the gym for about six months now. I don't think I need much more than 70, at least for the next few weeks. Okay, I was gonna save this for last because this is what I'm most excited to open but I can't wait any longer. This is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in black zinc. Then to me, this is perfect. So I wanna be very careful here getting it out, but I'm so excited and I pray it isn't dented or not dented, but um, what's the word? Bent, bent is the word that I was looking for. <laughs> If you guys did not know, I am not much of a handyman. I feel like I'm playing operation over here. So I think this is whew, the last one. Guys, this is it. Can you see that cameraman? Oh, can you see that? All right. What's the best way to do this? Regardless of what way I do it, someone on the internet is gonna make fun of me. Yes, yes, cameraman. Cameraman. <laughs> oh, do I do it? Do the honors. No, no. Please. No. My I... baby in this too much? Probably so. I just... mm. oh. Oh. Guys, this is beautiful. I feel like I know what it's like when people have children. Look at that. Cameraman, feel that neural. Feel that neural in the center. Oh. Do some bicep curls. Let's go! Wow, guys. Just take a look at this beauty. I've always wanted an Ohio bar. This, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be able to train on this beauty right here with the rack going right there. Okay, so for the bench, what I decided to pick up is the Rep Zero Gap Adjustable Bench because I don't have a lot of space in there. I don't really wanna have a one flat, one adjustable. I feel like this is a very nice, one size fits all bench. It's gotten great reviews. It's supposed to be very, very heavy duty and hopefully it won't be too hard to put together. Uh, it's super, super heavy. So at least I'll start unboxing it for you. Don't think we're gonna get this one put together tonight though. All right, this thing is an absolute beast. Seemingly came undamaged, very well packaged. Awesome job, Rep Fitness. Okay, so the reason that I am in no rush to open the squat rack, although I'm very eager because as you can see with these uh, rogue posts, they're already poking out of the box, so hopefully we don't have too much damage there, but because we still have some work to do on the actual infrastructure of the garage. So on this wall, Megan decided it needs to be spiced up a little bit. So we're doing like uh, some kind of design on the wall and then we're painting that wall for an accent wall. And until that happens, we can't actually install the rack. So that's pretty much my initial reaction for everything. Um, I hope this was interesting for you guys. I personally like to watch people unbox these types of items because I wanna know what I'm about to get myself into. We're spending a lot of money. We wanna make sure that it's a very good investment. So all in all, very pleased with everything that I got. I don't think you can go wrong with either Rogue or Rep. A lot of it's gonna come down to personal preference. And as you can see for me, I tend to mix and match things at least for right now. Um, and the reason that I went with RM6, I don't wanna go too into too big of a conversation about this, but I intended to buy a full rep rig, everything, um, buy all rep. But when I got on their website to order one of their racks, it kind of felt like a circus. And I can make a whole entire video about this. They're a newer company, so they don't have everything figured out, but they wanted us to mix and match certain colors and sizes, and then you try to add it to your car and it didn't work. And I was like, 
Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and order an RM6. It took two months to come in, but it worked out well because I was building this house. So we can talk about that at a later time. But thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.